Government ministers who support outlawing conversion therapy have to realise that what activists have in mind is not just outlawing inhumane pseudo-medical quackery. Clearly, for some of them, what they have in mind is effectively making it illegal to share the gospel with a gay person. There's a reason why they've chosen the term conversion therapy, and I think it's because it's not primarily therapy they're after, but Christian conversion itself. So if governments are going to introduce laws against conversion therapy, they're going to have to be very careful indeed to make sure that activists like these can't use the law to damage the ordinary everyday work of churches, of preaching, praying for people and pastoring them.